Hello guys, in this tutorial let's see all about recurrence relations. Okay, I think in C or C++ you have learned what is a recurrence. Recurrence function or recurrence relation. A function calling itself is called as a recurrence relation in that in some particular languages but in discrete mathematics a recurrence relation is an equation that expresses a given problem as n objects in terms of the same problem based for less than n. So let us take an example here s of n is equals to n plus s of n minus 1. So it is representing its own equation in terms of itself with a reduction of one step n minus 1. So this is a recurrence relation. So we may also have some basic problems. Find first five terms of the sequence a n is equals to 6 a n minus 1 where a naught is equals to 2. You give the initial value a naught equals to 2. So initially a naught equals to 2 whenever we try to find a 1 is equals to 6 into a naught. So 6 into 2 that is equals to 12. Further continuing a 2 is equals to 6 a 1. a 1 is 12. 6 7 6 12 are 72. Further continuing you will be getting a 5 up to a 5 values. He asked to find 5 values. So we found 5 values. That's it. This is what the recursion means. I hope everyone understood what is a recursion. So let's find order and degree of a recurrence relation and we, we will be finding whether it is a homogeneous or non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. A recurrence relation is said to be homogeneous if it is expressed in terms of itself only. It should be expressed in terms of itself only. There should not be no other variable. Then it is homogeneous. In any other case it is non-homogeneous. And coming to degree. Degree is the whole power. Something like the power. And order is the base factor. How many times you are decreasing it. Okay, once we are going through the examples, you're gonna have a detailed idea about it. Okay, let us take the first example. A n is equals to 3 a n minus 1 plus n square. Here, n square is an unknown thing. It is not expressing expressed in terms of this. So, this is a non-homogeneous equation with order 1. And degree, degree 1. I hope you understood what is a order and what is a degree now. Okay, let us go through the next example. A n is equals to n a n minus 2 plus 2 power n. It is also a non-homogeneous equation as 2 power n is present. So order, order is the base, so 2. And degree is the whole power, so it's 1. I hope you understood. Again, further continuing. A n is equals to under root a n minus 1 plus a square n minus 2. It is clearly in terms of a n only. So this is homogeneous equation with order 2 and degree here we are having under root. <clears throat> Remember for under root we will not be having any order, any degree sorry. So there is no degree. Even, okay let's further continuing. For this, let us take this as an example. A n is equals to sin a n minus 1 plus cos a n minus 2 and so on. Here this is a e power n. Hence, this is not an homogeneous equation for sine and if you are using cos or something like that, it will not be having order and degree. It will not be having anything, order or degree. I hope you understood all things about this. So, a recurrence relation of degree 1 is called as a linear. Of degree 2 is called as a quadratic and so on. Okay, I think if anyone asks you an example of a recurrence relation, a basic example is Fibonacci series guys Fibonacci series the equation will be like this fn is equals to fn minus 1 plus fn minus 2 where n is greater than 3 and f naught equal to 1 and f1 equal to 1 <coughs> sorry so the initial value 1 1 and these two sums will be the result and these two sums will be the next result next these two 5 these two 8 this is a Fibonacci series guys I hope you understood what is a Fibonacci series. Okay, for sure I'll be proving this equation as the Fibonacci series in further videos of other chapter. I think I have solved it in the second chapter. So that's fine. Okay guys, I hope you understood all things about recurrence relations. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.